Ohio. After a couple of days in Tokyo, we headed out to Meguro City to rent out our Suzuki Jimny from the guys at Overland Campus. I've always been a fan of this Jeep and I thought why not give it a test drive here in the motherland of Suzuki. We left Tokyo for the beautiful Kamakura on highways that definitely inspired Mario Kart tracks. First stop, 7-Eleven for your classic konbini breakfast. Bottled coffee, onigiri and the juicy furaido chicken. I thought the drive to Kamakura was beautiful and interesting. Definitely more fun than taking the JR train. And so much more freeing and enjoyable. Plus, everyone is pretty friendly on the road. I would highly recommend you to give driving a go, especially after you've done the whole Tokyo to Kyoto Shinkansen trip. After two hours of scenic goodness, we arrived at Kamakura. But unfortunately for us, the weather was looking a little gloomy. There goes my hopes and dreams of shooting bangers on Kodak Color Plus 200. We were still a little early for check-in, so I parked the car to explore on foot. I thought this photo came out great. The melancholy vibe reminds me of my teenage emo phase. And this photo reminds me of the test I didn't study for. A solid D minus. In absolute shambles without light. After a pretty solid lunch at Teddy's Burgers, it was time to head to our villa or hotel. You'll see. We stayed at this gorgeous villa called the Harbour Terrace, with our balcony facing the Sagami Bay and Mount Fuji in the background. Absolutely stellar views. I just wish the lighting was better. wife caught me filming a wrist roll with my Speedmaster. You know I can't give up the opportunity, especially with such a beautiful view. You watch enthusiasts will know what I'm talking about. Feeling hungry, we headed out to Komachi Dori Street on foot, because my dumbass thought there won't be any parking there. By some great intervention, the setting sun casts this beautiful purple hue over Kamakura. I guess the film gods heard me whining about the light. And this is one of my favourites. It's scenes like these that makes me want to drop everything back home to move here.
When I shot this scene, I thought the smoke effect would make the photo look much cooler. But somehow it didn't show up. Huh. This feels all too familiar. We ended the night with authentic Thai cuisine. And because we didn't want to walk another 45 minutes back, we got a cab from Kamakura Station. Almost fell asleep and drowned in here. Thanks, food coma. We woke up to Fuji Sun and the coast of Kamakura bathed in the morning sun. Jumped out of bed and emptied a roll of film. Such is the life of a film photographer chasing light. I'm so glad this photo came out beautifully. The calm Sagami Bay, the clear blue skies, the unobstructed Mount Fuji, and the perfect warm golden hour glow on both the Kamakura coast and Mount Fuji. Easily one of my top 5 photos and probably one that will be printed and hung on our living room wall. After checkout, we headed for Kawaguchiko, which is about a 3 hour slow drive along the Sagami Bay and then into Hakone. Sun's out, Fuji standing tall, the waves are waving, what a beautiful day. Just like Sean O'Connell from Walter Mitty, I too don't like the distraction of a camera and just want to stay in the moment. Also I tell my wife when I left the camera in the car. So begins our 3 hour drive to Kawaguchiko. I hope you've been enjoying these videos and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>